everyone, welcome to Hunter Gatherer Cooking. If you watched the last video, it was all about how I got this amazing bit of kit through the garage and got it set up so that it basically looks like this. What you wouldn't have seen is that I finally figured out how to get the rotisserie set up and it's completely my fault because I didn't realize that basically those two bolts just go through this slit, which I, I did see, and that just attaches like that, one this side, one the other side. This, you can actually turn your meat manually like that and lock it in with these, uh, with these different nodules. If you want to raise it up, it's as simple as raising it up like that. But as the title says, we're going to use this for the first time today, so let's get it lit. So I'm not exactly sure what the best method of lighting this is in the fire basket like this, but the plan is to just use a couple of fire lighters and stack some wood up on top. The beauty of this basket is it's just loads and loads of airflow around there. So I'm hoping that that is the best way to do it. If you've got any suggestions on any better ways, then just let me know, drop them in the comments. So I've been out this morning and uh, picked up some fresh bread and some meat from New Manor Farm Shop over by Chew Valley Lake. This one looks particularly interesting because it's, um, it's been marinated in a Guinness mix. Got a beautiful pork chop there, a tomahawk, and then some lamb steaks and some Barnsley chops there. Then I popped across to Bristol Fish, saw Sam, so he's got me some tuna, some bloody big prawns, and some little diddlers there. So we're gonna just get that in the pan with some butter and garlic. So I haven't got enough ingredients for what I wanna do. So this is just gonna be like a weird, hopefully nice, chimichurri style dish. So a little bit of parsley and coriander. An apple cider vinegar. Let's see if this actually works or not. I have no idea. A few chilies, a bit of pepper, a bit of salt, and lastly some shallots. My little secret ingredient, some smoked chili jam. Good couple of those. And just give it a mix. It may work, it may not. And that is how you use the asado fire cage. I've, I've absolutely loved it. Uh, I loved cooking on it. Uh, all the food was absolutely delicious. I think there's a few learning curves uh, that I need to sort of master and things, but it works perfectly. It's great for me. It's great food photography um, and the food flavor is absolutely unreal. If you're interested, uh, the link will be in the description below. As always, uh, if you can keep hitting that subscribe button and give the video one of those. Any questions, let me know, drop them in the comments and I'll see you soon. Thank you.